Hey Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. We're going to start with Spirit's advice, their messages, what's coming in here with the oracles. All right. First, oh, got several. You have a realization that there's some sort of entanglements, ties, bonds, energetic cords, assessing that everything is temporary. There is divine timing. Okay, so interesting. So some sort of connection with another person you feel it is, you may feel something is holding you back, but it's not going to last. Everything is temporary. There's some sort of divine timing, assessing divine timing. All right. What is this entanglement for Taurus? One card for Taurus. Not moving forward to the Ten of Cups. Definitely could be a person or situation that you feel is unhealthy that you need to get out of or move away from. Something's coming in to help though. It's saying everything is temporary, divine timing. So if you feel stuck in something, if you feel like something is holding you back, you definitely could be receiving some sort of messages. Somebody new could be coming in. For some of you, maybe you are stuck or you feel stuck in a relationship, a marriage or something like that. But something is coming through that's going to change that. All right, let me go to this deck really quick. Luck and right timing. So you have two cards here, divine timing, luck and right timing. Number 23 goes down to a five. So that is changes, making changes. One more, we have, <clears throat> there could be reconciliation for some of you, the wailing tree, getting back together with someone. It could be somebody that you know, it doesn't have to be an ex. And one more for them. Group think, okay. All right, so I, don't, I feel like for some of you, you could, get, you could run into somebody that you haven't seen in a long time. Uh, you could get some communication from somebody from the past. Now again, it doesn't mean it has to be an ex. It could be, I'm getting a good reconciliation, maybe also of a group or a friend or something else. So, everything is temporary. Yeah, you're being freed from something. All right, what is going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Someone may be dreaming of you. There's reconciliation in this deck as well. So, you have divine timing, right timing, you have reconciliation. Missing you so much. Oh, I love this little dog. I've always wanted a pug. Never had a pug yet in my life. One more, please. And music. Someone could be a musician. Says harmony, snake charmer, musician, and melodic. I feel like somebody hears songs that remind them of you. Is actually what I'm kind of getting with this one. You guys could have gone to concerts together or something, but there's something about music being important here. All right. What is going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Overall energy is the Five of Wands. Oh, suit came out. Okay, it's coming out in the tarot. There's something coming back around for you that's meant for you. And I get it's a good thing. It's not something that's going to make you, you know, roll your eyes and, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. It's definitely some sort of com coming back together with a person. Something's coming back for another chance. It can be, like I said, a group of people or a friendship or something like that. Something is yet, some of you are getting a divorce. Some of you have given something, you gave something another shot, but it just didn't work out. Something in May also may be important or significant or also a Libra may be significant. But you're just kind of done fighting with someone or something could be a job too as well somebody is thinking about you could be a leo but someone someone wants to reach out but they're a little bit nervous to reach out yeah listen to your intuition about this situation with the four of cups i think they, at first i don't think you're going to be disappointed i'll be honest with you but the card with the hangman could be just you're waiting but again, maybe you're trying to think of who this could be, what this situation could be. For some of you, if there is somebody from your past that you would like to get back together with, and that could definitely be the person. Others of you, this could be somebody that you weren't really thinking about. But um, I think you're going to be happy. They could be an earth sign like you with the Knight of Coins here or an Aquarius. Yeah. Well, you don't see. This isn't what's hidden. You have the Star card, the Knight of Coins, and the Nine of Cups. So you're happy. Some of you may be reaching out to this person as well. Don't don't be afraid to take chances right now. Don't be afraid to reach out and just say hello. If it's a job for some of you, just check in, you know, something. You never know because 
it doesn't do you any good to kind of wait around. Take action to if you're feeling, you know, like you think you know what maybe it is or who it is. Go ahead and like get things moving because you're taking action here with the outcome, magician. You're moving forward. So what is this? Feeling way down. Now that could mean... Could be a Gemini. You could actually be moving here. There could also Capricorn energy is here. Could be a fire sign. It's funny though, because there might be some bumps in the road or some little unforeseen things. I guess some of you are going to be redoing a kitchen or something soon. You may not know it now, or you may be getting into like remodeling something. Some of you are going to get a job or some sort of something here, but you're like. It's funny, it's like you're trapped by something, but it's a good thing. It's almost like you're getting an opportunity, and it kind of is going to help you stay put for a while, if that makes sense, or give you some stability. What is this devil energy? Moving. Not sure about the Ten of Cups. Okay, so maybe it's your own fear. Sometimes devil can represent fears, too. Whatever this is, it's going to turn out well. And yes, you may be moving for some of you, okay, with Ten of Wands. But it's going to give you some sort of security. If it's a relationship, you may end up very happy with the Ten of Cups. You may not see it for what it is. So be willing to be open and take chances. I have one more card for justice, please. Queen of Coin, you, death, and ending here, and the Six of Wands. But see, that's good. That's good that you're letting something go, that you are no longer entangled. Now, this could be this entanglement card that's here. <clears throat> it's getting you free of that. It's like everyone has a voice here. Like there's three figures here, right? And there's three here. It's like it's bringing things back into balance. Nobody should have that much power. These three people are working together. So I'm getting something about definitely having like a home refinished or redone or something as well for somebody. But... um you're gonna, your opinion matters is what they're saying. You have good ideas. Okay, what does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Have patience. Ugh. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that, okay? So again, I'm kind of getting someone here watching. You're getting a divorce or something similar. You want more creative freedom. You want to have more fun. I feel like this is you. Uh, something that's been holding you back. Uh, again, I get like you've done what you needed to do. You may need to take one more step. You may need to file for a divorce or move out or make some sort of changes. If you are the one who's getting let go of a situation because the death card came after, know that it's the, what's part of the process. Also, I'm getting somebody, you may get angry at your job or something and, you know, yell, qu quit, get fired, something because of some sort of blow up. I don't know, but I just kind of get you're being part of a new group or something, meeting new people, being welcomed into a new uh, community or family or you know that type of thing. So I get good energy here, really good energy for you, Taurus. Who's dreaming of you? I'm going to go back over here because I don't know who this person was. There was an offer here. Some of you may be musicians or be in the musician's world. This may be a job or something because you have music and stars. So, so someone who's famous... Reinvent yourself. Oh, I love that card. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. You have an achievement. Enjoy the limelight. See, again, limelight. Some of you may become famous or be in the limelight or be well known for your music or something else creative. You've earned it, although there could be someone on the family front whose health is causing secret worries and sleepless nights. So you could have a friend, a family member, someone close to you who is having some health issues. They may not be telling you, though. So just keep that in mind as well. What else does Taurus need to know at this time, Spirit? What else does Taurus... Okay, some of you, there's more luck or money on a distant journey or near the ocean or water. There's something hidden. So maybe this could be a hidden city. If you're thinking about moving, you may want to move someplace where you're closer to water. I'm getting the state of Washington for some of you, Florida, North Carolina. I saw it's coming up right now, but yeah. Some of you may find 
don't know, something like this hidden pearl that's worth a lot of money while you're on a trip. Some of you may find something that someone else lost. Like, like you go to like someplace like Disneyland and find something. There's no, I guess you go, well, I guess you could turn it into lost and found. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like you're going to find someplace in a place where you cannot give it back. Like it's your gift. It's wave spirit giving you something, giving you money, finding something like that. Like if you were finding something in the ocean, someone dropped it. How would you return it? You don't know who to return it to, I guess. I don't know. So I don't know. You could find something that's worth some money, something that's hidden, a gem. What is this? Please be more specific for Taurus spirit. What is this hidden? An end of a cycle. Something ending is going to bring something obviously better. But one more, please. Fool, brand new beginning. Could be something work, job, so a skill. Maybe a hidden skill. Somebody sees you. Somebody sees you at your job or doing something. I'm getting some of you may bike ride. All, some of you have hidden talents that you don't know are there yet. Like you could paint something and someone's like, wow, that's gorgeous. I want to buy that. Or um, offer, you could be out. Someone wants to offer you a modeling contract or something crazy. I mean, you never know. Some of you are going to go for this dream. Go for this. Some of you will be moving definitely. Yeah. Some of you are going towards a totally different life. This is the reinvent yourself card. So maybe you're going to move to someplace with different weather, different people. Almost feel like somebody is changing their name, changing their identity, their look, everything about them, and and going. And maybe you may be selling everything, having a garage sale or donating it. I don't know, but I just get like big things. So if you felt weighed down and like things are holding you back or a person or situation that is changing, and again, don't be afraid to take chances and go with it. All right, don't wait for everything to happen. But I think things are going to come to you as well of course have fun play hard what else is spirits advice waiting or wait having fun and waiting Let's see timing see again this card is talking about timing we did have the patience card let's do a timeline card too there could be an apology from somebody someone may want to apologize to you time apart and new love some of you are meeting new love oh, i didn't clarify this person who's missing you i want to do a timing card now and i want to do the new person card Oh, I don't know what deck to use. Let me go to this one. Could be Aquarius. Star card's about ready to fall out. Again, someone may be famous or a star, or this could be you. Who is missing? You've been waiting, having fun, waiting, coming in, time apart, apologizing for taking too long, new love, or somebody you know. It says a recommitment to love is developing. Who is this who's missing you? Who's missing you? Who's coming in? Communication, page of wands. The sun, maybe a Leo from the past. They may want to give you money or help you out in some way Go, or take you on a trip, something like that. Queen of Swords, air sign, a new beginning, give you money for something. They may want to fund a dream of yours. Maybe they'll give you money for um, something else that you want to do as well. Or you're going to be starting something with the Ace of Coin, a new business. Do you have a timeline spirit? Do you have a timeline spirit? Divine timing. So anything, what time, what is the timing? Okay. There could be a blockage that you're not aware of. Identify it, then come back and ask again at a later time. Okay, I'm not surprised because the, the car just didn't want to come out. So I could tell it wasn't going to give us anything specific. What is the blockage? What is the blockage that Taurus needs to be aware of? What is the blockage? Can we be holding on to something? Holding on to a past, a dream, four of coins. What is this four of coins? What is this four of coins? What is the blockage for Taurus? Messages, communication, being open, communicating with someone. One more. Tower, a move. The blockage may not be from you, okay? Hangman, the blockage may not be your, your side. It could be somebody else. It could be within four weeks, four days, four weeks. I don't know, I don't think it'd be four months. Five of Cups, oh, somebody needs to apologize. That may be the apologize. Someone is worrying. Justice, Page of Wands and Justice, Five of Swords. 
seems kind of specific. Um, but seems specific, but yet somebody's missing you and they want to reach out and they want to tell you they're having some sort of breakdown or they're going to break down and apologize and tell you something, maybe a fire sign or a Leo, but it has something to do with this communication, what they're saying that is important. So could be, I don't get it's you having to say that to somebody, obviously, but I mean, it could be, but I'm thinking it's the other person waiting. Something at a distance. Some of you also get wanting to move to like New York or California, trying to like get your um, career off the ground. Yeah, there's something here about being like welcomed back into a group of people as well. This wailing tree may be someone else crying, somebody else sad about a situation, how they treated you. There's a lot going on here, but again, I wouldn't, again, wait for anything to happen to you. Keep moving ahead and manifesting your dreams. I just kind of get like, that's important. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know in this reading? The truth. The truth needs to be spoken. 32, which is a 5. Truth, letting go. Listen to your intuition. Okay. Wow. All right, Taurus. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.